Hi guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. It's June 7th and it's episode 7. And here's what we have done so far. We got our simple pump in, a handheld pump. Doesn't use any electricity. Here's us pumping water for the first time. Our first test to see if we have water. Cross your fingers. Hear it. Yay! We have water! <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> Did I mention that we're going to be off the grid? We have an electric pole and box, but we won't be hooking it up. Everything is thriving in the garden, doing really good. Some insects and aphids are around. Uh, we've been trying to control them by just knocking them off and sprinkling a little DE every once in a while. Started clearing this area back out here since it, the forest is trying to take control of my garden area. Lots of cardboard. Planted some sweet peas and cucumbers to crawl up along the side of the compost pile that we're not using right now. I also made a cucumber trellis out of just sticks and stumps so the cucumbers can crawl up that. I still have to plant those. Over here we're going to try a herbiculture bed with some rotting wood that we found along the property. Um, we have a video on how we're doing that. Our squash plants will be taking over soon. The whole area along the fence is squash plants with cardboard around it to control the weeds. We're going to be getting another load of wood chips soon to cover this all up. As you can see our little guy right there. Not just squash, but watermelon and cuke in uh, cantaloupe and pumpkins. Over here we have our zucchini planted with little radishes. They're companion planters with each other. I also have some white sage planted in here that hasn't come up yet. The potatoes are doing great. I already had to put another grapevine wreath and lots of more soil on top. They just keep sticking their little head out every day and I just keep covering them up. We found some rust spots on our apple trees. It's a fungal problem that affects apples and pear trees. So that's kind of upsetting. We are going to try an organic fungicide, neem oil, and possibly copper to fix this. I'm hoping that we don't have to yank the whole tree. I'm going to have a green bean wall over here along the fence. I did green beans on the inside and the outside of the fence. I also planted um, other things on the outside of the fence. Lettuce and spinach and sweet peas and that's for the critters and if the critters don't eat it then we'll harvest it and eat it. So far in my updates, I've only shown you our garden area, but we did just order our yurt. It will be here in three months. So let's go check out where the yurt's gonna go. Back in the woods. There's really no easy way to get back to where the yurt's going to be yet. It's gonna be our next step getting a four-wheeler, clearing a path to get back to where our home's gonna be. So this is the area that we cleared over the fall and winter. We took down at least 60 trees. It used to be thick forest, like 
anywhere else on the property. You can see our wood stacks. We were stacking to get the wood out of the way. So here's our area. Nice away from the road. Secluded. We have a beautiful forest view all around us. This we will need to start working on since the yurt will be coming in three months. We have to get a platform up. We do have to take down some of the big pines because they like to drop branches and we don't want them dropping on top of our yurt. Thanks for joining me on my seventh episode update on my homesteading journey. We have lots to do still, but I'm happy with our progress so far. Our garden's looking great. It's gonna give us lots of free food. And now we get to work on our yurt area. And I will show you how we do all of that. Feel free to subscribe, like us, comment if you have something you'd like to add. And have a great day. Peace.